Okay, hello, good morning. I will say, I will greet you again, Shafina, Kinanti, Milka, Sharon, Stella, Dila, Naya, Kenneth, Vladi, Jessica, Kevin, Clara, Kinan, Jendra, and Nino. Okay, so um, I'm sure that you have prayed before in the previous Zoom class, yeah? And welcome back to Mathematics 5. Last meeting, I have sent you the video on fraction. Okay, so there, there are um, two kinds of fractions. Yeah, right. And then uh, you can also see that there are like fraction and unlike fraction. And then you also learn about mixed numbers. Yeah. Okay. And last meeting, last in the last video, I have told you on how you add and subtract fractions by renaming. Yeah. Okay. I will review first. Okay. Um, can you see the whiteboard? Can you see the whiteboard? Yes. Okay. Nice then. All right, now let's review first on subtraction. Yeah. For example, you have a half and you also have two third like this. Okay. In fractions, the numbers that are uh, on the top are called nominator and the number which are at the bottom are called denominators, okay? All right, if you have different denominators, you have to make them same first, okay? Hello, Mr. All right, so to find it, you have to remember on your last material, yeah, to find the same factors, yeah. Here we have two and three, so we will make them into six, like this. All right, to make two, become six. What should we do? You can turn on your microphone. Uh, two times three. three. Okay. Two times three. Yes, you multiply by three. Okay. It means that we have to multiply one with three as well. So one times three equals? Three. Three. Okay, very good. Now, from three to six, what should we do so that we can make three into six? Yes, multiply. Okay, very good. Multiply with two. It means that we also multiply the nominator with okay. two times two equals four. four. Okay. Four. Right. Okay, so I will change it into like this. All right. Okay, three plus four equals seven. Seven. Okay, and the denominator stays the same, it is six. Okay, all right. So this one is unlike fraction. Okay, it means that we can simplify it into mixed numbers. Seven divided by six equals one. We still have one left, okay? And the denominator is six, like this. Up to this point, do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. All right, next one. Um, I will write three fourths. Okay. 
minus half. Okay, like this. All right. Do we have the same or different denominators? Same denominators or different denominators? Different. Different, okay. So we have to rename it so that it will have the same denominator. What number is the new denominator? What do you think? Four. Yes, very good, four. Right? To make four into four, what should we do? Multiply it by? One. One, very good. It means that we also multiply three, three with one. one. Okay. So it is three. Okay. Okay, now what about the second one? Two. To make two into four, we multiply it by? Two. two. It means that we also multiply one with two. Right. Okay, so one times two equals? Two. Two. So the result is, the denominator will be, uh, will be four, okay? And the, nom the denominator is three minus two equals? One. One, okay. Up to this point, do you have any difficulties? Or is it understandable? Clear. Clear, yeah? Okay. All right. So that's the review. Now let's open your book on page 104. Page 104. Okay. Um, I'd like to have your camera on, please because I still see some of your cameras are off. Okay, because I need to check your presence. Okay, all right. Uh, Nino and Fede, would you please open your camera? Okay, Nino. Okay. Okay. Right. Now wave to your camera, please. <laughs> wave to your camera. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hi. Okay. All right. Okay. Ready with page 104? Yes. Okay. All right. Now I will share some screen. Okay, can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Can you see the picture? Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, very good. All right. This is from your book, page 104. Okay, now, um, okay, take a look at this one. These are unlike fractions, yeah, unlike fractions. Okay, hold on, I dropped something. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, now let's take a look at number A. So there we have half plus three fourths, right? <laughs> Things happen, dear yeah, friends. <laughs> okay, so here we have half plus three fourths, or yeah. Uh, one second and three fourths. Okay. All right. Here, uh, do you have different or same denominators? 
different I mean, okay. different yeah different. One of it is two, and one of it is four okay so in in the was it pie chart like this yeah we have half and we have yeah here 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 three four okay so it means that we have to make them the same yeah what is the what is the new denominators can you guess is it two four. or yes it is four that's right okay right so right now we have two four and three four okay four it means that if two plus three equals five five that's right five four yes um, yesterday, one of you asked me, Miss, what if I make it like this? And four. Four, like this. Four. It becomes four, it means multiplied by two. So one multiplied by two is two. And then uh, three multiplied by one. So it is three. So the result is five fourth. Is it okay, Miss? I said it is okay. Yeah, it is absolutely okay. All right. Now, how about B, friends? How about number B? Five six plus half. So five six, one, two, three, four, five, six plus half. Do they have same or different denominators? Different. Different. Okay. What is the new denominator? Six. Yes, that's right. Six. Six. Yes, that's right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then to make two become six, we multiply it by. We multiply it by. Seven. Three. Okay. So one, two, three so five plus three six equals um, yeah five plus three equals eight eight, eight. eight. that's right eight. okay all right to make it easier just make it like this uh like the the one that we made so like this, yeah, five and six, five, six, and then make it into six, two times three, right? Multiply it by three. It means that you multiply one with three. Like this. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so it becomes eight, six. Like this. Okay, so do you have any questions so far? Is it clear enough? Clear. Clear, ya. Yeah? Aku miss. Yes, please. Uh, itu tadi kan mama aku ada telepon jadi agak keganggu. Mm -hmm, okay. All right. So once again, if you have different denominators like this, you have to make the den uh, denominator same first. Okay. To make two okay. into four, multiply by two. Yeah. Yeah. Two into four, multiply by two. It means that the denominator you have also multiplied by two. So two four plus three fourth equals five fourth, like that. The same thing with this one. Five six and then half. 
they have different denominators. It means that you make you have to make the denominators same first. Okay, so they have to have the same factors. Yeah, so six, five, six, and then to make two into six, you have to multiply it by three. It means that one, you also have to multiply it by three into three, six. Okay, when the denominator are the same, when the denominators are the same, you just add the denominators or later on subtract. Yeah. So five plus three equals eight, six. Okay. Is that clear enough? I'm up to here. Yes. Okay. All right. Now let's continue. Uh, let's continue with the next number. Oh, wait, I will. I will erase. Okay. I will clear all drawings. Okay. Let's move to the next page. Okay. One third plus five six. Like this. One third plus five six. Okay. So we have different denominators. Can you guess what is the new denominator? Six. Six. Very good. All right. Since five six has same denominators, it means that we just write five six. Okay. One third to make three into six, you multiply it by two, right? So two. one multiplied by two equals two. One and two. Yeah. Okay, so what is the result? Seven, seven, six. That's correct. Seven, six. Okay, very good. Seven, six. If you want to make it clear in the what's it in the pie chart, you can also use it like this. So this one, two, six, and then five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, like this. Okay. Now, how about D? Four fifth plus three tenths. What is the new denominator? Can you guess? Ten. Ten. Okay, very good. All right. To make five into ten, you multiply it by two. two. So two. four becomes eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. And three becomes. And three becomes. Six. Are you three. sure? Three. 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 Because three. Yes, from 10 to 10, you multiply it by 1. Okay, so what is the result then? 4 fifth plus 3 tenths equals? 11 tenths. Yes, that's right, 11 tenths. Okay. All right, now I'd like you to try with number E and F. I'd like you to try with number E and F. Okay, try with E and F. Okay. For those who have finished, you may raise your hands. If you have finished, you may raise your hands. I have finished. Okay, Kinanti, you have finished. Okay, very good. Oh, Vladi, already. Okay. Okay, Jendra. Okay, very good. Dila, already. Okay, very nice. We'll wait for the others. Okay. Who is that? Oh, Naya, you have finished. Okay, very good. Kinansa, very good. Alfar, okay, good. 
Sharon. Okay. Who else? Who else? Jessica. Okay. Kevin. Okay. Kenneth. Already. Clara. Okay. Almost all have finished. All right. Now, who wants to try to share his or her answer? Who wants to try? Okay, Jendra. Okay, Jendra, please. Number E. What is your answer? Nine eight. Nine eight. Okay. Yes, that's right. Nine eight. Okay. Because it will be uh, three eighth plus six eighth. Yeah. So nine eighth. How about number F? Who wants to try to answer? Okay, Milka. Milka, number F, please. Eight, eight. Eight, eight. Okay. Any other possibility? Any other possible answers? Nine, eight. Nine, eight. Nine, eight. Nine, eight. Okay. All right. Now let's check then. I will share screen again. Okay. So let's check together this one, yeah? So Milka is correct. The new denominator is eight. Okay, but let's check whether it is eight eight or nine eight. To make four into eight, we multiply it by two. So one multiplied by two is two. Plus to make eight into eight, multiplied by one. So seven multiplied by one equals seven. Okay, mm -hmm. two plus seven equals nine okay and the denominator is eight so the answer is nine eight okay right thank you for trying okay thank you for trying it is already good okay now friends i'd like you to take a look at the next page on page 106 okay take a look at the next page page 106 Okay, right, can you see it? Can you see it on your screen? Yeah. Yes? Okay, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, I lost the picture. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. Where is the picture? Ah, oh, this one. This one. Okay, so here we have to add or subtract the following fraction sentences, match the sentences which have the same answers. Okay, let's try with this one. Let's try with uh, number five, the first one. Okay. Five six, five, five, six plus two third. Yeah. Okay, so we know that this the new denominator is six. Okay. Five into six stays five. Plus three to six uh, is multiplied by two. So two divide uh, multiplied by two is Four. The result is nine six. Okay. We can make it into mixed fraction. Okay. One. Nine divided by six equals one. Still have three left. Okay. So one three six. And we can simplify it again. Because 3, 6 equals divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Can you one, one. Yeah, can you see the, the same, the same uh, was it result on the right? Yes. Yes. OK. 
Okay. So you have to draw a line. Yeah, from one and a half to this one. Okay. So do you know what to do? Do you know what to do? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. I will give you one more example. Seven ten minus one fifth. The new denominator is ten, right? Ten becomes ten. We have to multiply it by one. So it is seven ten minus five to ten multiplied by two. So this one, one multiplied by two. Okay, so seven minus two equals five, ten, right? Can we simplify it? Yes, we divide five with five, one. We divide 10 by five, two, half. Can you find half in your book? Can you find half in your book? Yes, yes, it's at, at the bottom yes. is yes. So you have to draw lines. You have to draw lines from this one to the bottom. Okay. From this one straight to the bottom like that. Okay, to half. Okay, please do number three, four, and five. This number, do number three, four, and five. I will give you, wait, three minutes, three to four minutes. Lah. Okay, Vladi, raise hands. Whoa, Vladi, you have finished. Wow, very quick. Jessica and Milka also did, uh, have done it. Wow. You are very quick friends. <laughs> okay, Jindra also finished. Wow. Okay, Jessica already finished as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Alpha already finished. Okay. Vikram, Vikram, would you please turn the volume down? Thank you. Okay, Sharon also finished. Naya also. Wow, that's great, friends. Okay, then let's discuss. Okay, so number three. Number three, what is the result? Please type in the chat. Please type in okay. the chat. What is the result for number three? Okay, two nymphs. Yes, very good. Very good, friends. Next, what is the result of number four? What is the result of number four? Yes, that's right, three-fourths. Okay, and then what is the result of number five? What is the result of number five? Yes, that's right. One and one eighth. Okay, very, very good, friends. Okay, so we will move now to how you 
add mixed numbers. Okay. Um, I will start sharing the screen again. So to make, uh, sorry, to count or to add or subtract the mixed numbers, you have to change it into uh, fractions, okay? Or you just uh, do it as it is. You don't need to rename, okay? But how to find it, you have to find, you have to add the whole first and then later on the fraction. Okay, now please take a look at the, the example of page 107. Okay, so one and a half, four whole and a quarter, like this. So we focus on the whole first. We'll focus on the whole first. Look, we have one and four, okay? One plus four equals five, right? And then start with the fraction here, half, okay, plus a quarter, okay, quarter. Of course, we have to uh, make the denominators same, right? Yeah, so the new denominator is four. It means that, okay, means that two fourth plus one fourth equals three fourth. Remember that we have five whole number here and we have three fourths as the fraction here. So one and a half plus four a quarter is five three fourth like this. Miss, what if, what if I want to, uh, I want to make it into fractions first. So one and a half, of course, one times two equals three plus one, sorry, uh, one times two equals two plus one, three, three second plus four and a quarter. Four times four equals 16 plus one, 17, 17 fourth. Okay, the new denominator is four. So it is six fourth plus 17 fourth equals Six plus six, uh, six plus seventeen equals twenty-three. Yeah, twenty-three fourth. We make it into mixed number. Twenty-three divided by four equals five. Okay, we still have three remainings. Fourth, five three fourth. Oh, so they are the same, yeah, Miss Yeah. Yes, they are the same. So you can. Uh, either choose this one, adding the whole first and then adding the fraction, or you can rename it into all fractions like this. You will have the same result, okay? Do whatever it, you think easier for you, yeah? All right? Okay. Okay. So next meeting, next meeting, we are going to talk more. We are going to discuss more on how you will add and subtract mis, uh, mixed numbers. Okay. All right. So up to this point, do you have any questions? Up to this point, do you have any, any questions? Quite clear, yeah? Okay. So there will be no task today. There will be some tasks tomorrow. Thank you very much for today. You can learn again, watch the video again. Send my regards to your family and goodbye. Bye bye. 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 Everyone. Bye. Bye. Have fun, friends. Take care. See Stay you. healthy. Stay healthy, everyone. Bye. -bye.